Hey guys, here's a little update video as promised for anybody that did recently purchase an unlock. Now, here's a couple things you guys do need to know. I am currently so backed up, I did not expect so many people to order for me as they did, but I am making progress and mostly everybody should be getting their orders very soon. Now, if you order within the next few days, it will be about a week out. Anyways, you know, thanks, but no thanks because you guys really tripped me up. I didn't believe I'd sell so many, but here I am. Anyways, so here's a little update video to show you guys a couple tricks and tips as to how to use the unlock properly. And I'm using a 5C right now on AT&T, and I'm going to go ahead and show you what the actual unlock chip looks like. Now, you'll be getting this little thing, and you can just pop the nano sim right out. But if you do have a 4S, you are going to have to go ahead and cut and you know, cut it to the size of the Nano 4S unless you do want to buy a custom 4S SIM tray that supports Nano SIMs. Anyways, it's really simple. All you guys have to do is a little cutting for the 4S and that's it. And it just sticks right onto your SIM card. Now, from what I hear, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get to the menu. If you don't get it right away, when you put in the SIM tray with your SIM card on top of it, you're going to go into your phone, scroll down to SIM applications, and in here, you can go ahead and manually open it up. And for the most part, it does pop up just fine. It's on some CDMA devices, they don't get it. Now, if you have a device that's on the activation menu, it's a little bit of a different process to go ahead and get that activated. You will need an activated iPhone. You can't just pop it in and activate it with the SIM card. So with a different iPhone, basically you have to configure it just like for this iPhone. And this is a five sprint. So I'm gonna select iPhone five and I'm gonna go ahead and select US Sprint because it is a Sprint iPhone five. So it's configured for that iPhone. And there's a couple things you guys do need to know about this. I could just easily put it into the iPhone 5 model and activate it, but when I go to put it back into this model, it won't work. I have to reconfigure it back on that iPhone 5 model. And it's a little confusing, I know, but I'm gonna go ahead and run through the whole process and show you guys how it works. So it's been configured to the iPhone 5 Sprint. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it in and show you guys that it does activate it. Now, 95% of you guys won't need to do this, but for those 5% that do need to do this, that's why I'm showing you guys how to do it. And I understand not everybody needs this, so you can go ahead and skip it. But anyways, it is activated. As you guys can see, I do have Sprint in the upper left corner. And when you guys are trying to unlock a CDMA iPhone, namely Verizon Sprint, you guys will get the original carrier in the top left. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to finish the unlock on a CDMA iPhone. So that's totally normal, it's okay. What we need to do next is go ahead and go to Safari and we need to download iRose, the application that we will use to finish the unlock. Now this is exactly how it'll look, so go ahead and navigate your way over here and you guys will get an option to download an application. So download it, select install, and that'll just take a couple seconds to download onto your springboard. All right, so once done, select continue and you're now in the application. We're gonna go ahead and force 2G, select okay and we are done. So now we need to go ahead and reboot the iPhone. And as you'll notice, you just dropped down to one bar, then it went back up, and that's totally fine. We do need to restart the device, and once we boot it back up, we'll be on our network. Now upon reboot, it is searching, and I do just wanna show you, I do indeed have a Sprint iPhone. If you guys ever did research about a factory unlock for Sprint, it's over $140, and it doesn't work in the USA after. But here I am with a Sprint iPhone with T-Mobile loading on my iPhone. And as you guys can see, it's a little bit of a different process for CDMA phones versus GSM phones, but nonetheless, you guys do get activated on your carrier. So that's all fine and dandy. It's working on the network, but say you wanna use the unlock on another phone, or if you just used it to activate this iPhone and you wanna put it back to the other phone, you have to reconfigure it. And if you don't reconfigure it, this is what you will get. So I'm putting it back into the original phone I showed you in the beginning of this video that it was unlocked with. And any moment now, we will be going to the activation menu and it'll be saying this SIM card is not supported. I know it's so confusing, guys, but basically when you program a SIM card for a phone, it believes it's the original carrier SIM card. So for that iPhone 5 that I programmed it for, it believed it was a Sprint SIM card. So it's like I'm taking a Sprint SIM card and putting it back into an AT&T phone. And the only problem is I have to reconfigure it on that phone before putting it back into this one on an AT&T phone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm popping it back in. And if you don't get the menu, that's fine. All you guys are gonna to wanna to do is scroll down to your phone and go back into that menu. So from here, I'm gonna reprogram it for the iPhone 5C, which is originally from AT&T, and it's all good. Now I can go ahead and pop it into that phone and have it working on T-Mobile, and it, vice versa. If I put it into this phone again, it won't work until I reprogram it on that phone. So I hope you guys are getting the concept. Now, most of you guys won't be swapping between phones, so it's really not what you need. 
but basically I do have to show this to the people that are having this problem. Now, when you get to the programming part and you don't see your carrier here, many of you guys won't be seeing it. All you need to do is select input IMSI and visit this website right here. It'll basically give you a list of all the IMSI codes for the carriers that may be not listed on that menu. All right, so basically I did cover activation if you are unactivated, getting this to work on a CDMA iPhone and inputting a custom IMSI code if you don't see it on the list. So hopefully I did get everything. If not, I'll make another update video. And like I said, you'll be getting your unlock soon if you haven't already. I'm so sorry for the wait. I was just overwhelmed by the orders. Anyways, guys, enjoy the unlock. Peace.